We're the NFC TV here with the newest arrival at the club, Glenn Ray. Glenn, first of all, a big welcome to the club. Thanks. How are you feeling after signing this week? Yeah, I'm happy. Um, obviously, I'm a Brighton boy, well, Port Slade. Um, been away from home for a long time now, so it's nice to be back where my family are and seeing them and the opportunity come right around when I just, I was humming and ahhing about what I was going to be doing and then obviously I know Jess Starkey so I texted him saying can you just see if I can train for it a couple couple times a week and I've come in and really enjoyed it and I spoke to Hinch and we managed to get something done and yeah it's really, it's, it's nice to be here, the, the, other, the, the game the other night was a bit testing but um, hopefully that's a one-off and we'll go again Saturday and hopefully uh, play out a better performance. Yeah, no doubt as well you've probably had a lot of interest from clubs and higher divisions. What was it about Worthing that made you want to come here? As I say, I've been, it's been a weird couple of weeks actually and just being back with family is a massive thing for me because I've been away for so long and by the way what a time I've had while I've been away, like it's been amazing, Luton was absolute like it was unbelievable time I've had. Um, but yeah, my, my main thing is being around my family and I've heard a lot about Worthing, where we, where, where we play and yeah, I wanted to be a part of it and if I can help then for me that's something I'd love to do. Um, hopefully I can do that. We've seen great reviews uh, from, about you from fans of your former clubs, Luton Town in particular, who obviously you know you've got a strong affinity with. What is it that Worthing fans can expect from you during your time here at Woodside? I think I just I try and give it 100%. Well, I give it 100%. I try and do my best, should I say. If that's, if that's good enough, then great. If, if not, then it'll be me trying to do the right things. Um, I'm definitely committed and yeah, that's what I want. I want to get up to fitness because obviously I've, been a, I've not uh, played for a while. So I want to get my fitness and then yeah, go from there. I can, like I say, I'll give it everything and hopefully they can, they can see that. We saw a glimpse of your physicality and, and leadership on Tuesday when you came on. Um, will you look to use your experience to help benefit the young players in the squad? Obviously it's quite a young squad generally as well. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, like I said, if I can help but in any way I can, then that's, that's something that I'd love to, love to be able to do. But I'll try and do it as in a, I like to be, what's the word? I like to do it on the pitch, really, do you know what I mean? I like to, if I'm doing all right, then hopefully people can see that and if they want to take inspiration from that, then that's great. Like, I will try and help in that sort of way. Lead by example on the pitch. So. Hopefully I can do that, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Looking ahead to the weekend then, how determined, obviously you mentioned the disappointing midweek result, how determined are the group to put that right on Saturday? Yeah, hundred percent. Like I say, we um, first half we were good the other day, I thought, and second half it just um, yeah, it just it just didn't click in the second half for some reason. Whatever that reason was, that's football sometimes. But hundred percent, we're going into Saturday thinking we're up for this, and we will be up for it, and we'll be right there, and we'll do what we do. I've obviously seen a couple games now, and I've been involved the other day, and I sort of I'm getting used to what everyone does, and. For me personally, I'm going to give it everything and I know the lads now that they, they will do that as well. So hopefully we can make a, a wrong and right on Saturday. And then Bath's opponents obviously, obviously sat second in the league. What are you expecting from them on Saturday? To be honest, it's, it's just going to be another tough test, I think. Any away game, if you want to do something in divisions, you need to go to away game and one, compete, two, do the basics and then put your stamp on the game, so hopefully we can do all them three. If we do them three, then we'll uh, get a positive result.